What's up guys, it's your girl Man at Meeks and I'm back with more Lovecraft Country and yes, I doubled and triple checked this time that ain't not a damn thing playing in the background because we will not have a repeat of anything that was going on last time. Not at all. I even just checked again, just one more time. Um, so if you're enjoying this reaction series or anything else I got on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm here. You're here. Let's be here together, you guys. Um, down below in the description box, I got my affiliate links. If you want to go ahead and shop with those, it's Box Lunch, Hot Topic, and Entertainment Earth. Um, it does support me and the channel. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you do, thank you so much. And last time on Lovecraft, we had a interesting backdrop for a story, for like Dee's story. So it started off with the... Um, with the death of Emmett Till, his funeral, and just how it affected the community with a perfectly selected song to open it up. Perfectly selected song to demonstrate how it didn't really affect white America as much as it affected black America. Which, I mean, this is the beauty of this show is that it can, it can make a statement, it can make a point without being extra overt. Like you have to actually listen. And this song was on the nose about what was going on, how it was just a cruel summer. Like it was hot. Um, it was his death that was uncomfortable. Like, and then they were going through a bunch of stuff. Like it was a, a lot of things happening. And it was a, it was supposed to be a decentered episode, but it was so many things happening. We got to see a little bit with, um, with Christillium and Ruby, how she was just so upset by what was going on that she didn't want to be herself at that time. I get it. She, she turned into a white woman and had sex with Christillium and she was asking Christillium, did she care? And she was like, no, I don't care. Which is the honest answer, which most, which is the answer for most of the stuff going on right now is that a lot of people don't care because it's not them and it, it won't ever happen to them. And then we have Letty and Tick who are going through their own thing. Um, Tick knows that she's pregnant. She didn't tell him that she's pregnant. He reveals that he went back um, in time or he went to the future to see his son and got his book and that's who George was George wasn't uncle George it was his son George named after his uncle uncle daddy um, and then we had the conversation with Dee and Montrose when they finally found her after the cops put a spell on her ass and she's seeing Topsy and Bopsy everywhere um, about how you got to make them work for it you got to make them work for the things they're about to do to harm you because you technically don't have a choice but you gonna make them work to get there um, and she was just pretty much tormented by herself. It was a very strange episode because at first they were so concerned about Dee and, and then all of a sudden it just went away. You could handle it. She's on her own, handling the Topsy and Bobsy and nobody seemed to give a crap. No clue. So she was out here fighting Topsy and Bobsy and the cops by herself. It was so strange. And then you had G.I. show up and Tick turned into his daddy right quick. Like Tick has the ability to be so sweet and so kind. And then he just like messes it all up with his mouth. I do, he didn't need to talk to Gia like that. He did not need to talk to Gia like that. She came all the way over from Korea um, to see what he was about and, and to try to help him in his situation because she cares for him and he gonna treat her like hot shit because he doesn't feel the same way anymore. Well, you should have explained that. Granted, I know it's 1950 when you guys had your relationship and now it's 1955 and it didn't say whether or not you kept in actual contact with each other. But we don't know what happened between those five years before he got back after his father went missing. I get that. Um, but now D is infected by Topsy and Bopsy because Topsy got to her and Montrose was trying to help, but he couldn't see what she was seeing. And he actually held her down to be attacked and bitten by Topsy. Um, and D figured out that her mom is probably dead. Found Woody in the back because they've been lying to her. Once again, don't nobody talk to nobody. And at the end of the episode, we had Ruby finally coming up to her sister and being like, I know all about magic. I know all about this. Christina is teaching me how to be, how to do this so I can have this. And she's like, girl, why are you following this chick around? Cause she ain't gonna do nothing but use you. And she right, she not. Um, but while they're having that conversation, um, the police show up and try to enter in their house because he was like, you know what? I'm tired of trying to figure out where's, where Hippolyta is. We're going to go in the house and take the Ori. He can't come into the house because, you know, it's protected by the blood of the goat from the Haitian woman in the third episode. Still protected. Never getting rid of it. Never getting rid of it. And since he couldn't come in, he just shot up the house. And we had the return of the Blinkies, a.k.a. the Winkening for Winky because Winky is in the house. 
Winky came in the house, protected Titus, protected Titus, protected Tick. And um, he got a pet now. He got a pet Winky, a blogger. I'm just saying. So we're going to go ahead and jump into season one, episode nine of uh, Lovecraft Country. Oh, rewind 1921. Well, here's the Tulsa riots or massacre. Upset. Yep. Looking for you. Yep. Go. Pointing fingers. You all are to blame. Now, how do we fix this? Mm-hmm. Now y'all quiet. We need somebody who knows what the fuck they do. Mm -hmm. You think that white witch gonna help us? Yes, she will. Wait. I already gave her the pages. Tina already has Titus's page. She offered me invulnerability instead. And you took it. You took it. And fuck all the rest of us. Hey. Save your own ass. She huh? had to protect herself. She. Mm -hmm. That's why Tick ain't mad. Tick is like, go ahead and protect my baby. Look at D. Jesus. He's so mad. He's <laughs> so mad. But what you not finna do is run up on a chick. In one condition. What chick? What? You have nothing. What? We have nothing you else. You come willingly back to Arden the night of the autumnal equinox. Girl, what? She's like, bitch, that's my man's. You gonna do it for your, yeah, you gonna do it for your cousin. It's on you. Why would it be on? I'm confused. Hold on. Ah! There he go. Ah! That's juicy. Ah! Well, he did. Bitch. <clears throat> is that water? Please let it be water, Jesus. The last thing we need is a drunk Montrose. Can we please just, just drink some water? With a little bit of lemon. You're supposed to be down here getting chalk so we can finish the simplest Come on. Yeah, get that shit. Thank you. <coughs> he over here chuckling. Gasoline? Yeah, it could be. <laughs> he over here like, I'm gonna take a sip. My blood might not work. Why would you? You heard Christina. You might be George's son. There go the words. The full phrase. Mama cheated on you with Uncle George. No. You see it. You trying to get that road rash now? Here you go. Take the road rash. Work on the guy wishing he was my father. And now you... I know. Now you got to be like your daddy did. Like it's a whole thing. I get it. Can you put that road rash down? Is D sick? Hippolyta just walked the fuck in? Bitch. Hey, baby. Can we hug you? Is that a thing we can do? Can we run up on a squeeze? Girl, where you at? What you mean? What happened? Fuck that guy. I'm glad he did. Die, bitch, die. That is fucking gross. Oh, you need to open the window and let them flies out because I can't deal with flies. Like, I, I, I fucking hate flies more than anything in this world. I'm gonna need you to open the door. All oh, your mouth is open. going you got to be going Christina is so teeny but she's so tall and you think you can trust Atticus and his crazy thought the way he came at you earlier stop him Lady, you're sounding real stupid right now just like mama running after all of her girl mates. what are you doing As running you after your woman your feelings and open up your eyes you might notice that Christina ain't trying to hurt either one of us I'm not it's probably a spell that's gonna kill him yeah yeah. And god damn it. Y'all is siblings. <sighs> Let me tell you something. My nigga better not walk away from me like that. Child, chase that little ass down and choke the shit out of her. Shake the shit out of my sister. Like, bitch, you quit playing. I don't know where you disappeared to, but you starting to sound crazy. Child, don't. Nah, bitch. I was on Earth 504. Huh? And I was there the equivalent of 200 years. It came with infinite wisdom. And I'm going to use all of it to save my daughter. That's right, bitch. Now get in the fucking car. Get in the fucking car. Stop questioning Hippolyta. She coming in trying to tell you what she needs you to do. And you still question her ass because you don't understand. Don't nobody care. Don't nobody care. God. All that shit you said about seeing magic in me. That was a lie. I never once asked you about Atticus. I'm not stupid, Christina. My mama was a hustler. I was your plan B. You asked for my help today, and I came for you. She did. Promise me you won't hurt my sister. I promise. 
I do not believe that because if you think Letitia fucking Lewis is gonna sit there and let you murder her man, bitch, you got another thing fucking coming. Can you please stop drinking the thang thang, sir? Can you please pour that shit down? By you handing over those pages, you might have a hand in the death of my son. You understand when you have yours. There's no making this right. Mm. I mean, I understand Montrose, but you still shit. So who's always going? Is Tick and Hippolyta going? Cause all four of them can't jump in. Y'all, my face is like. I'll concentrate. He wanted to have a memory. Of there, be careful not to do anything that might change this future. Now, oh my God. Whatever's going on between you all, leave it here, right here. It's our only chance to save Dee. And I'll beat your ass otherwise. Like literally, I will beat your ass. Okay. I am mythical and magical right now. I'm I'm the unicorn in this bitch, and I will use my horn to poke your ass. Go, go, go. Can you make it? Can you do it? This is gonna be traumatizing for old George. He gonna have a panic attack. Look at this. That is all brown people. They could have been being done at the poorhouse. Some crackers. Yeah, Still, ain't no reason to be shutting down a dance. Child, they said Klu Klucking. Let me tell you something. That might we might have to bring that back. We might have to bring Klu Klucking back. That's a that's a nice phrase. Some kind of oh. dance. Cool clucking out here in these streets. Thanks, Misha. <laughs> oh, what is old is new again. I don't think you understand how excited I am by the phrase clue clucking. Hmm. They closed the school just hours before the mayhem started. Well, they are, they are on the day. We want a chance of getting that book. We better go now. Yeah, you're right. How y'all gonna get in there? Well, we don't need no extra attention. Look at her shoes. A whole successful town full of black folk. I'm telling you. Look at this. And they destroyed it all. Like, this is why black folks can't have nothing. Distract me. Be careful not to. I can't say anything that might change the future. He about to have a panic attack? I just feel like he panic attacking this episode. This is traumatizing AF for him. You okay? No, bitch, she's not okay. She, he's not okay. Of all the days for your bullshit. Things dependent on us. Shut your mouth, I only had a few sips. You pathetic. <sighs> Don't even know what's going on with him. I have no idea what you're walking into. Exactly, listen. Damn, damn. You think you know what? You don't know shit. Shit, shit, I don't. I took your bullshit. You're beaten, you're berating. Forget mom and Uncle George for not protect me from your ass now. When D's safe, we're done. This is, this is the dumbest thing. Like, ain't nobody got time for this right now. Like, do you understand what this man is going through? Granted, Montrose is a piece of shit. However, he's going through some things. He's experienced it twice. This is a second round for him. This is a second round for him going through this shit. Like, don't pay attention. There's no situational awareness. Like, damn. Ticket get on my fucking nerves sometimes. Just like, damn. Okay, done rant.